Sorry about that. Oh, almost tripped there for a second. So, hey, what's going on with it once again? Um, bros, women, bros, and pecs sisters, especially my fanboys out there, girls out there, is the one and only, of course. Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Criticism Guy 2009, of course. Nintendo Anime Man Guy 360. So, uh, today, um, actually tonight, because it's already 12 01 um, midnight right now, as I'm doing this West Coast time. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. I just had a big dinner earlier. I don't know what it was. Some Panda Express, maybe, or this new place called. Actually, no. This place is three, four years old. It's called Teriyaki Man. It's a really cool ass Japanese place. Check that shit out if you're ever in a 702 in Vegas or 725, because I took, think October, November is when it's going to start. Uh, but other than that, move my chair a little bit. I don't know what's going on. All right, let me say, at, um, before I start this video, this is solely and strictly my opinion on what Pokemon should or shouldn't get Mega Evolutions for the third generation. And uh, Let me think. Oh. Let me get my thing really quick. I'm probably going to be unfortunately in your pe people's way, so give me like two seconds. I'll be out of your way in a sec. And sorry about that, people. <laughs> I didn't want to block you people like nothing, but um, I will say this. Mostly people probably don't know, may or may not know. Of course, I got the old school Pokemon Sapphire here and Pokemon Ruby. Really cool ass shit. But I will tell you this. I'm an old school fan of Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. I do have Emerald, but it's lying around somewhere in the room. I can't find it. Sorry I had to block your way for the past two minutes, unfortunately, but um, hopefully my face isn't too close either because I know I had that issue before. So uh, other than that, like I said, this is solely and strictly my opinion on which Pokemon should get Mega Evolutions and should it. Unfortunately, Sableye was up there, but as we all found out about a couple days ago, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, this is already Saturday, Sunday now, excuse me, not Saturday, it was Saturday two minutes ago. It's 12.02 right now. <laughs> Sunday, West Coast Pacific time as I'm doing this. So so many people are probably asleep, some of you are awake. Depends on when you watch this video, because it'll probably be in the day or afternoon by the time I upload this tomorrow. <clears throat> maybe later on in the night till 2, 3 a.m., because it's probably going to take an hour or two, maybe three hours until it's complete. I don't know, when the future tells. But I will say this, um, fucking a, um, what can I say? You know, with the Pokemon Mega Sableye, I wasn't crazy as shit about it. I'm going to get more into detail with him later, maybe now, I don't know. <sighs> it's just thing that fucking disappointed me a lot about fucking Mega Sableye, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot more hardcore badass, it was going to be taller. Instead of having this stupid ass fucking just red gem and that's it. And maybe one of his middle horns is bigger and his claws and fingers are bigger and that's it. He didn't even have a bigger giant tail, four eight legs, four eight arms, you know. Something hardcore. It wasn't still, it still fucking Ghost Dark. I wish it would have been like Ghost Steel or Steel Dark or... Um, ghost Psychic or some shit like that. A lot more of a better typing. I, this, that's, that's the main three things that pissed me off about Mega Sableye a lot, seriously. And that, that was kind of a letdown in Game Freak. It really hit me right there. Because Mega Maywile, or Malwile as you want to call it, that Mega Evolution was done right last year. And to see it's polar opposite, because I remember back in Ruby Sapphire, Maywile, or Malwile as a lot of people call it, I just like calling it Maywile. Maywile was actually... Um, a very close dear and dear Pokemon to my heart back in the day. Touched my heartstrings a couple times because Maywile was just, she was my girl. And I really wish I would have just been women because I don't know why there's male Maywiles based on the Japanese female legend myth and not a male myth. I don't know. Uh, Nintendo of America has kind of got their priorities mixed up. But yeah, whatever. Um, I will say this. Mega Sableye, I just wasn't doing it for me. Maybe attack wise and all the defensive competitive battle wise, it might do something for me. As far as it goes from this point right now, and this point in time, I'm not crazy about it. So um, without further ado, now let's begin. So number 10 on the list, my hopefuls, my top 10 hopefuls. I might do an honorable mention next time, but not in this video. Number 10 on the list, which is, um, as you can see behind me, Walrein, or Walrein, however you want to say it. Final evolution of Spiel and Celio, obviously. Um, I will say this, I've been a really huge fanboy back in the day of how Walrein was. The reason why it's real low on this list I only used it, unfortunately, as an HM slave, which I usually used it for dive, waterfall, and obviously I would always use it, always use it for um, surf, no matter what. Um, the thing that pissed me off a little bit about Walrein or Walrein is that in the games, he wasn't really used very much. I mean, he was used by Glacia, and that was it for the Elite Four, and that was pretty much the last time seeing him. Unless you fought, um, what's his name, Wallace in the game, when Ruby Sapphire, because an Emerald obviously became champion after that, so he, he think he got rid of his wall ring after that because he had Steel and Celio, and I think he had wall ring at the end when he did a rematch with him. I don't know. 
But uh, other than that, I will say this. Um, the reason my hopeful wish, I'm not going to get into the competitive side. I need better stats, defense, um, tax, offenses, defense, speed. I really don't give a shit about that part. I will give a shit about design. The reason of, it, of its design, I really need some mega evolution because it's tusk. Everything looks badass. The big, thick fat that it has is cool. The one thing I will say is its ability needs to change because the thick fat is good. I wish I could get a better, better ability like I'm a technician. Um, what else is really good? Um, rain dish is pretty good. It recovers its health slowly. Swiss one would have been good on um, mobility for um, wall ring. That would have been awesome. Drizzle would have been a great move for him. But that was obviously an exclusive for Kyogre. Because no other Pokemon could get that. Because it was a legendary ability from Kyogre. Plus this was around the time when abilities literally first came out on the scene. Because in first and second gen, Kento and Jodo didn't have this until... 2003 when Ruby and Sapphire were released in uh, I think September October I forgot but other than that I really want to see a rank of evolution for wall ring that thing will break fucking walls like a motherfucker break reflects it might be a water fighting if it was an ice fighting water fighting I could see it like having legs and shit like that and just beating the shit out of motherfuckers that would be awesome that's why he's number 10 on the list as um for a mega evolution coming in number nine on the list I know some people kind of see this as the beginner Pokemon. It was special to me because I used to rock smash on them a lot. It is this one right here. Beautiful artwork. Whoever did this on DeviantArt, shout out to the person that did his name. I don't know what it is, unfortunately. But the Pokemon's name I do know, which is um, Mighty Anna. Mighty Ina, Mighty Anna. I always called it Mighty Anna. Second Evolution, Poochiana. Because um, obviously that's his base one form. Base two is this one. The thing about Mighty Anna that I really, really liked, it was really fucking awesome. Obviously, it was one of the, um, let's see, it was one of Maxi's, I think, um, besides Camera Up, Mighty Anna was one of the second mascot Pokemon. And I really love using the shit out of them. I use them in the Elite Four. I think level 70 was, like, the highest, um, for the third and fourth generation, I was, like, the highest level Pokemon I used for Mighty Anna. Fifth gen, I got, got him up to, like, 60, I think, that was it, because he was way too complex to raise in that. Gen the seventh, sixth gen, no fifth gen. Excuse me, seventh generation. There's no seventh gen. Maybe in six, seven more years, there might be or less. Who knows? The way Pokemon's been uh, throwing out games lately, I wouldn't be surprised if it's six months from now. But yeah, other than that, um, the reason why I think Mighty Anna really should get a Mega Evolution, I know I said I was gonna talk about attack defense, but I think his defense, his special defense, needs to get raised the fuck up because it is shit. It's man, that it's crap. It's very poorly well done, unfortunately. And I will say this about Mighty Anna, that tail is cool as fuck. And it's officially really 12.10 p.m. What A.M. West Coast time. I don't know why I keep saying that time. But I will say this. Mighty Anna looks like a boss. I'm not going to lie. He looks epic as shit. He looks cool as fuck. He looks like he's ready to throw the fuck down and tear motherfuckers' throats and necks with those big ass fucking huge freaking claws that it has. You can't see it there, but another one you can. The sharp fangs that it has is cool. And I really like the Lion King a lot. I don't know why, but Mighty Anna reminded me a lot of the Hyena Pokemon. Not Pokemon. The Hyenas that... Scar from the Lion King um, would always use all the time. He always reminded me of the... Mighty Anna always would remind me of the Scars. The oh, Scars. Fuck. What was it? Yeah, there. Reminded me of the Hyenas from the Lion King. Except he didn't laugh all the time either. That was the thing. What was cool about Mighty Anna. That's, he brought me a lot of nostalgia memories from the Hyenas from Disney. Pretty much. From the Lion King. So he's number 10. So coming in at number 8. Uh, if I could get number 8. There we go, Swallow. Swallow, the reason why I think he needs a Mega Evolution, he was in the anime. He was one of Ash's Pidgeys, Pidgeos, and Pidgeots. And later on, which was Noctowl after the second gen was over, he was the Noctowl this generation. I feel that in my personal perspective, his ass needs a fucking remix. I'm probably going to have to do a part two of this, so please forgive me ahead of time. I do apologize ahead of time, but I will say this. He's awesome as fuck. He was cool in the anime. I'm not sure about the attack and defense. He has the guts ability. I think he needs a better ability than that. I feel like he was very underrated. And this is the reason he's number 8 on the list for the best freaking Mega Evolutions. Hopefully he gets a Mega Evolution. Because if not, it's going to be bullshit and I'm going to be pissed the fuck off. That is not going to be cool as fuck. That's not sliding game freak. Make this Mega Evolution happen for Swellow. I'm going to be fucking pissed. Seriously. Top 2 at game freak. Let's go. So, um, that's number 8 on the list. Coming in at number 7 on the list, I will say this, is that it's, uh... Tropius, or as a lot of people like to call him Tropius. I don't know why they call him Tropius. Kind of sounds like Entropy from Crash Bandicoot 3 Warp. You know, Entropy. Or use that little um, big giant freaking ray gun or whatever. You have the British accent or whatever. It's weird as fuck. Or Entropy. I don't know. 
I, I used to like calling him that. That's why his name was Tropius. I used to call him Littlefoot a lot because it reminded me a lot of nostalgic memories for like, many people remember Land Before Time 1, 2, or 3, if you, especially if you were a 90s kid. You know how awesome as fuck Land Before Time was. That was one of us six, eight, I think it went up to like eight movies and after that finished in 2000, 2001, I think. And that was it. So I was about 12, 13 when it finished. And that was it. Best years of my life as a 90s kid when I used to love watching the shit out of Land Before Time. That's why I really loved having Tropius on that list. I only raised him to level 50 so I could fight him in the battle frontier. Pretty much that was it. Uh, not other than that, I never used him again. Which I feel bad. I think maybe in the 4th gen, 55 or 60, I think he raised him up a little bit higher after 3rd gen was done. 5th and 6th gen, I never like, bothered catching him, catching him because I really felt he was underrated. I felt like he should have got a new evolution, but unfortunately he didn't. Or a pre-evolution. Because this huge fucker is big as fuck. And he's like six foot three, six foot ten, and like I'm surprised he's a solo evolution Pokemon, no evolution. Fortunately, he has to go on the far fetch this foot Pokemon with no evolutions. Shake my fucking head, I'm telling you, I'm shaking it so hard right now. I would face palm, but I got a eyebrow palm right now. <laughs> but yeah, I will say this. I hope you like the new angle that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna try to do this a little bit more often instead of the side like this. But yeah, um. Other than that, pretty much Tropius, he tops its number seven on the list. Yeah, number seven on the list. It should be, yeah. He's cool as fuck, though. I like him. He's a boss. And uh, coming in number six, I love the wings. He reminds me of Meganium's cousin when it first came out, too, after second generation. That's another reason why I really like Tropius. And he needs a Mega Evolution real bad. Number six on the list are two, six, and five. I'm just going to say what number five is now. Number six is Survivor, and its rivals. Number five is Zangoose. Um, the reason why these two, number six and number five, um, do really deserve an evolution, you can see this guy right here. Sorry about that, I was a little paranoid, I don't know what the fuck's going on down there. I will say this, Zangoose, um, the reason why Zangoose and, uh, Survivor, you already saw Survivor, what he looks like, it was one of Jesse's Pokemon in the anime, um, obviously, if you were a Pokemon fan back in the day, early 2000s, you know it was a, or 90s kid like I was. Um, for Zangus, I don't know what it was for Zangus, but for the Viper specifically, the reason this fucker needs evol Mega Evolution, his move pool is crap. Really fucking bad. I remember he was one of the first Pokemon, and his signature move was Poison Tail. And I remember Crush Claw was um, Zangus's quick signature move. Besides Sand Slash and, um, I think Flygon and Salamis would be able to learn that. I'm gonna get to them later on. Spoiler alert. They're on the list. <laughs> Even I put a shit ton of Salamis on the list, I rarely ever put Flygon. That's why I wanted to put him on here. But yeah, with Zangus and Survivor, they're a really good team. I like them a lot. Um, Survivor, he needs a shit ton of more of um, attacks and abilities. Because his attack pool is shit. I'm sorry, it is crap. Beyond fucking um, repair, really. And I'm hoping they give him a Mega Evolution so he can give a lot more extra attacks. Maybe they can make him poison fly and put wings on him. Put three, four tails, put two heads on him instead of one. Other than that, sorry, I was getting a little weird out there. I will say this, the Zangus looks cool as shit, but I wish it could be cooler. I'm going to go through this a lot faster now because I'm getting real tired. I haven't had sleep since 4 in the morning yesterday, so I'm tired of shit right now. But I will say this, Mega Zangus made the shit happen because he looks cool as fuck. Plus, GCPM, shout out to him, Guy Carl Garchomp, um, Jonathan, the one that does a shit ton of Pokemon X and Y update reviews daily. Check his shit out. Um, he's a really huge Zangus fan, just like I am. He's cool as fuck. I don't know what just sat there, fell there. But um, other than that, um, as far as um, Viper goes, that's awesome as fuck. They really need to give him some wings, extra head, double tail, triple tail, some arms maybe, some claws. Make it happen, Game Freak. I really want to see that shit. That would be epic as fuck. And everyone can fall in love with Viper again. Because I like Viper a little, little tad bit, a little bit more than I do with Zang. Coming in number four, three, two, and one, the last four, it is fucking Shiftry. And I liked him a lot more than Ludicolo because Ludicolo... Ludicolo, Ludicolo was his other evolution thing. I will say this about Shiftry, he is shitty as fuck when it comes to his flying, and he's real bad, he's double super effective against bug types since dark and grass types are real bad against these things. And that sucks ass. Not fucking cool, you know? Not cool, bro. Make this shit happen, I really hope Game Freak gets onto it. Make his growth ability a lot better. I'm sorry about the dogs barking in the background, but uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say about Shiftry. 3, 2, and 1 is gonna be a little bit weird, but I do not care. Brelum, Brelum, however you want to say his voice, his name. Brelum, or Brelum, I think is really unique typing, grass fighting, the first grass fighting types to ever come out of the Hoenn region. He was cool as shit. 
I liked him a lot, you know? When May fought the Combuskin with um, Brelum, that was cool as fuck in the anime. I loved him then. Hopefully they can make it more nostalgic, make it more bulkier, because his speed is good, but his attack defense... It is mierda puta shit. I fucking hate it. I really need those fuckers to improve on that. He has a spore attack, too. It makes, like, the attacks really good. So, for me to stop hating on Breloom, that would be cool if he gets a Mega Evolution. I'm hoping he does. Maybe a different dual typing element instead of Grass Fire. Make him Grass Psychic, Grass Ice, or some shit. I don't know. Grass Fire, even, would be cool. We got a Grass, a Bug Fire type, which is Volcarona and Fidgen. They can make that happen with Breloom with um, this one right here. Ice fighting, I don't know. Coming in to number two and one, I'm going to just show them really quick. There's Brelum right there in the anime. Um, Flygon right here and Salamence. The reason Flygon and Salamence need a Mega Evolution, not really Salamence that much. Mostly Flygon, his defense is shit, is really bad. I was really disappointed when I saw it back in the day when I wasn't competitive back then. I was just sad to look at, in general. And I really hope they make him more intimidating, more hardcore. I need to give him a lot more of a badass, you know... Bad Boy Outlook image for um, Flygon. I would love to see that for him. I would love to see it for done in the future. Foretold. He would look awesome as shit. They put him in the anime for the Kalos region as a Mega Evolution. I would be fanboying the fuck out if I saw him in the anime for Kalos. I would freaking fanboy the shit out if he gets a Mega Evolution for Flygon. That would be awesome. Salamence. Let's be real. Salamence really doesn't need a Mega Evolution, but I wanted to put him anyways. He would be ten times more powerful if he got a Mega Evolution. He's strong and... He's beast enough as he is, and he's boss and epic enough in the Wi-Fi battles as he is, but if they beefed him up a little bit more, because his speed isn't that great, but I know special attack, off the charts, same as the special defense, attack and defense, need to be a little bit more twerked on, worked on a little bit, so if he gets a Mega Evolution, they can increase his attack and defense a little bit better than he is in regular Salamence form, so make it happen, Game Freak, Nintendo, make it, it's Mega Evolution for Salamence to happen, I will definitely, definitely be in your debt, forever in your debt. Number one... One of my all-time personal favorite Pokemon. Bam, Altari. Imagine a Mega Evolution like this. Bam. Look how beautiful that is. Look, look at all these beautiful horns, the amazing long tail, the beautiful dark wings. Look at that beautiful Mega Evolution fan art of fucking Altaria. Tell me that's not badass and I will beat the shit out of you. No homo, I'm just fucking kidding with you. You know, I'm hype as fuck about this Pokemon if he does get a Mega Evolution. Let's go back to regular Altaria. Altaria, Altaria, however you want to say it. This happy, beautiful dragon flying type Pokemon, it brought so much joy to me. I was a fanboy, like a motherfucker, when I saw my Swablu evolve into this beautiful, amazing dragon flying type Pokemon. Even though it didn't look a lot like a dragon type, it looked more normal flying than it did dragon flying, but I didn't care. The design was beautiful. I loved that beautiful voice that I had in the anime. It was gorgeous, it was sweet, it was sexy, even though I shouldn't say sexy Pokemon. A lot of them, my Altarias were female, by the way. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Even Wally, he had the Altaria. I was so hyped up when I saw this Pokemon. I raised it to level 90, almost fucking 5, almost level 100. When I had three different Altarias for Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. 